And in this clip, we're going to go over what makes a women's snowboard package. First things first, the first layer. Wicking material for the top and the bottom. It's going to get your moisture off of your body and keep you warm. Again, this is the first layer. Second layer on the top. Normally a cotton wool blend or a fleece blend. This is, again is going to keep the moisture away from your body. Second layer, keeping that warmth in, protecting you, keeping you warm on the hill. Next, the last thing that, ex that basically protects you from the elements, the jacket and the pants. 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 mm, again protecting you from wind, moisture, the elements, also keeping your heat in but wicking the moisture of your body away from your body. Socks. Socks are extremely important. If your feet aren't dry and warm, you're not going to last any time whatsoever on the hill. Socks again, wicking the moisture away from your feet, keeping your feet dry and warm. Very important piece is the beanie. 90% of your body heat escapes from your head. If your head is exposed to the elements, you're going to get cold in your hands and your feet faster. Warm. Gloves. Gloves are very, very important. Snowboarders tend to have their hands on the snow much more than skiers do. So a well-made glove, Gore-Tex, something again that's going to wick the moisture away from your hands because your hands will get sweaty, but yet protecting you from the elements, keeping your hands dry, warm, you can last a lot longer on the hill. Then we're going into key hard good components. Women's specific snowboards are not just a snowboard painted in a nice graphic. They're milled thinner for a lighter weight. They're also narrower. Women tend to have smaller shoe sizes than men, but not always. The next thing that's important is a female specific binding. Bindings again are just not a men's binding, painted pink or painted green to make it look more feminine. They actually have a narrower tray because women again tend to have narrower feet. Women's calves are also in a different location so they tend to have a lower high back so that you don't get the pinch point on your calf. Standard cap straps are the new thing. They've been around for probably three years but every binding is doing that. Keeps your heel sucked into the heel cup reducing the amount of heel lift. This is it guys. The number one thing on the hill are your boots. If your boots are not comfortable, if you're not again staying warm, you're not going to last on the hill. A nice waterproof boot, again ergonomically made for women, tend to be a little bit narrower in around the middle section, also narrower in the heel, and a lower piece for the standard women's calves are in a different location. So again, this is not a high boot to get the pinch. Boots are very, very important. Try on as many as you can in any snowboard shop. It's one of your key components to staying on the hill and staying happy.